We're in the middle of some tough times for nonprofits, many struggling with falling donations, growing needs, and a lingering COVID pandemic on top of it all. Organizations like the Cancer Awareness Resource Network fill in for some social service needs. Paula Topman shows us how big the job can be by focusing on one family who's been hit by challenges from so many different directions. You said you wanted a tiara, and you said you wanted a chocolate cake. Look what it says. What does it say? It says my name. What many people may not realize is the critical need nonprofits serve for their communities. So this is seven-year-old Isabella. Since spring, she's been battling not one, but two forms of cancer. There was the blood clot in the femoral vein, but there was also a mass in and around her femoral artery. So she had um, shortness of breath, and she had this giant mass that you could literally see with the naked eye and other lymphomas around the area that had started to surface. And on the first, she was diagnosed with the lymphoma, and on the seventh was when it was classified with the rhabdomyosarcoma, stage four. Bella is one of six siblings living in a home in River Rouge with a sick father, whom himself is battling chronic disease. There's also a broken down car. Her mother, Sarah, is the only one working as a housekeeper, adding odd jobs to keep the family going while moving family members to and from the hospital on a regular basis. He has severe Crohn's disease. Um, he actually just recently had a hospital stay. He was in there for nine days. But the Hanson family didn't have far to look for help. In fact, the nonprofit CARN, short for Cancer Awareness Resource Network, found them. What we say is we raise money to give it away. Only this organization, currently helping six families in the metro Detroit area, is running out of money fast. Cancer is the second largest killer in America. And so there's always, uh, there's always been a great need. But since COVID, it just exacerbates the, the whole issue. And while it may not have a big name and big splashy ads on television, it is nonprofits like Karn that can show immediate impact in helping struggling families. If no one helps, then nothing gets done. Um, on one side, on the other side, I'm, I'm just a believer that um, what I'm doing is something that God has ordained me to do. And so it will get done one way or another. Yeah, so just let me give you a sense of the scope of what this one organization is doing for this one family. They're paying their uh, rent, their utilities, clothing. They're trying to get them a car that works most of the time instead of just some of the time. And again, this is just one small organization and it really is illustrative of so many different organizations that are struggling because so many other families are struggling themselves and not able to give as much, Karen. A good reminder for those who can help those nonprofits to really step up and try to help because obviously it trickles down to those families who really need it. We thank you I very hope much, so. Paula.